Don't be this guy. Raise your drive and libido. It's time to man up with X-Wolf. Boost your testosterone levels to help decrease your body fat percentage and increase lean muscle mass gains. Boost your stamina and blood flow for those tough workouts. And these workouts also. Go to xlabsubs.com to find out more. www.hoodg.com Okay, we got the God Cash crew necks, hoodies, hats. If you don't know where to go, you get them www.hoodg.com go get you that god cast gear that brand new being gear we got rod digger gear all of that go to www.hoodg.com www.hoodg.com lord jamar did you hear about um jamaica what's your thoughts on that what happened in jamaica Jamaica is now demanding reparations. Good. Okay. From Britain. Okay. I think they're asking for uh, 75 million pounds. And there's talk between, um, the discussion is now leading between uh, Eidos saying that if you guys have the blueprint to successfully get it done, share it with us. And we over here in America, if we get reparations, we'll successfully share the blueprint with you guys. But the controversy is there are many um, in America that feel like that Jamaica doesn't deserve reparations because of Why not? Well, they were saying that Jamaica has already made a lot of money based upon their government selling out their property anyway. and businesses and stuff like that. That so don't matter. Nah, nah. Yeah, nah. it doesn't matter. So white, what? White people trying to skim money. over what they owe. And black people have made money since we've been here. That still doesn't matter what the fuck yeah. you did back then. That doesn't address the damage you've done. The, yeah, the damage that you did from back then yeah. that, that still billions. affects us now. I like think, You know how much poverty is in Jamaica right now? Well, like they're researching yeah. if there was indemnification. They're researching, they're researching if there was indemn indemnification. Correct. What uh, what kind of indemnification would there be? Well, with the IMF, if they have uh, made an agreement with the IMF and being in so much debt that the country, so say Great Britain, they would not be held responsible anymore for their behavior from the from the past or the present based upon uh, the debt the debt that Jamaica may have collected. So that's the talks now where they're they're looking anyway. at all the different variables to see if they would be disqualified from receiving of course they are. Uh, reparations. See, it's funny because I just, saw, trying a, not I to just pay. saw a video of a white dude in England mm -hmm. discussing. Mm -hmm. He wasn't saying Jamaica specifically. I saw that. He was talking about, yeah, if we should give our, you know, reparations. And I'm saying, like, he basically tried to say, yo, we both lost people on both sides. Like, like, <laughs> this motherfucker tried to act like society benefited in all this kind of shit. And he doesn't, he doesn't believe that reparations should be, you know given and and you know again they try to put white people in it to where you know the white man almost was acting like well shit maybe i should get reparations like what yeah. like what? Uh, cognitive dissonance again we lost people on uh, both sides i mean huh, huh, huh. another another <laughs> talking point another another talking point was when African Americans and blacks were demanding reparations. A lot of the Jamaicans were saying, well, then we want a piece of it as well because we were on the same boat and we just got dropped well, off in different locations. Now they're saying well, reverse, where if Jamaica got reparations, that 
African Americans shouldn't get a a, a a a slice of that. Somebody said Scotland already paid some reparations well, right. to Jamaica. Did they? No, they didn't. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. I, I, Listen. People ain't just pulling things out their all, ass. I think that Caribbeans, first of all, they need to recognize African Americans. Quit dogging them. Quit thinking they're better than them. Mm -hmm. Now that people might, now that African Americans might get money, not everybody wants to be black now. Please. As much as Caribbeans and Africans shit on African Americans, now you want to come together because there might be a chance African Americans might get their goddamn money. And then all of a sudden, Dominicans are going to claim their blackness. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because African Americans get the brunt of everybody's hatred, which doesn't make sense because Africans, Caribbeans, Afro have all been discriminated against and been treated like shit. So if African Americans get their piece, you get your second. You can't get the same same stuff as African Americans. Sorry, because you have you have not helped out African Americans. Godfrey, the talking point is so Jamaica's seeking reparations, but they're saying African Americans won't get a piece of that. Whereas when it was vice versa back in 2016, the Jamaicans were saying, "Hey, African Americans, we want a piece of that too, because we were all on the same boat." And just got dropped off in different places. Back oh, really? But do you see how the now, but you see how the Jamaicans turn, they turned on it? They're saying African Americans, you don't get a piece of this. That's but, the talking. But, but, but you now, see what I'm saying? How this right. how this how disrespectful they've been to them. Exactly. Right, but then this is also to That's me. Foul. I see this as as a divide and conquer thing. So now I'm supposed to get yes. a oh, word. That's what the Jamaicans are saying. Well, then fuck that. You know, if they know you ain't trying to keep well, then we're going to keep our shit to ourselves. See, that's the type of attitude that they want to inspire by having these fucking conversations right now so that we'll be fucking mad at the Jamaicans and Jamaicans will be mad at us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the fuck yeah. out of here. First of all, none of y'all motherfuckers are getting reparations. Okay. Like, like, especially if you don't know who the fuck you are, especially if you don't have a nationality, because they're not giving reparations to black, to, to black people. You have to have a land. You have to have a nationality. You have to have a place that has a flag. You know, y'all motherfuckers ain't got none of that. African-American is not a nationality. Being mm. black is not a nationality. Um... Well, yeah, the Jamaicans, you and know, Jamaican is a nationality, but black and African-American is not a nationality. So if but we then, think but then, but then, but then, um, under the, this the, banner, Jamar, what? we crazy. But why? Then that should give that should be more reason to give African-Americans money because they don't have a connection to nothing. They've been taken away from that shit. Their names have been fucked up. They deserve money, period. Right, but then legally you can't get it if you don't have these. You see, the, the but that's not their fault, though. Well, you better come it, up with something. Well, come it's, up with it's something. because of ignorance. We can actually have those things. We can claim land, our nationality land, and all that type of shit. We can claim, claim our nationality now. Um, African Americans. That's what, claim that's what the Moors have been it. trying to get us to do for a very long time. Thank you, Ty and Maisie TV. African Americans should get America. America. That's their country. They built half. They built it up. They deserve Man, their money. Man, we were here being before. culturally raped. Wait, culturally, psychologically, how can it, how financially can it raped. Colony? Half of us don't even know what colony we came from. How can no, it be colony it's just, by colony? just pay them. We don't know what colony for the confusion. From. Exactly, but you're paying them for all of this lost shit. Please pay African Americans what they deserve. First of all, Period. you know, there's a lot of oh, there's a lot of divide and conquer with this. There's a lot of bullshit that goes into this talk of reparations. You know, as far as who gets who gets it, and you know, it it, it just gets real muddy, man. And mm -hmm. I feel like they want us to spend our energy on this conversation when we really need to be focusing our energy on more practical things 
Um, Cause it's like expecting, you know, expecting an evil person to, to suddenly do righteous shit is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And I don't understand why y'all even believe that this motherfucker is going to somehow like somehow like what do you think you're going to touch his heartstring or some shit or you're going to touch his rationale and and he's going to fucking just give you some shit like I don't know people well they did it they did it for the short hat well, guess what I did they do it for the short hat people that's another talking point. They they do it for they give money every year to the short hat. Right. Listen, so they, 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 gave, the they gave money to Asians when they locked them up. Um mm-hmm. you know, in well the nobody likes us. Well, nobody <laughs> likes us. That's why we're not getting any money. But nobody likes us worldwide. Another talking they want so, everything. Well, based upon what? Nobody likes us. They just don't like us. That's why we're having problems getting money. So based upon like what Godfrey just said, another talking point about this is if you want reparations, you're not supposed to ask for it. You're supposed to take it. All so African Americans, another talking point is that they're not going to give you reparations if you ask for it. You're going to have to take it. So as a people, we'd have to be organized and stop asking. You're going to have to take it. That's one of the oh, talking points. Me- it's meaning that, you know, stop, we got to stop contributing to the economic society and take it by force, by not contributing to society uh, economically, not spending our bread, that sort of stuff. Hey. Begging in the way. Begging. Gotta take it, man. You, when you go they outside, right? We live in we live in New York City, uh, Godfrey, right? Keep it real. When you go outside and you and you go in the subway and you see a nigga fucking sitting on the ground with a fucking cup up begging, how you look at that motherfucker? Do you look at him as your equal? Huh? Tell the truth. How yeah, old God is he? How old is he? Wow. He's your age. How old is he? He's your age. How old is he? He's your age. I'd be like, man, come on, man. Get your ass up. I'm just saying, you ain't even got to say nothing. I'm just saying, in Sometimes your mind, so. are you looking... You're looking down right, at him. Right. You're looking down. You're not, he's, you're not giving him the same respect as if he was standing on his feet you know what I mean? Not begging. Right. <laughs> That's all I'm right. saying. You know what I mean? Right. So how the fuck you think this man's looking at you? Yeah. When you down on your ass begging for what you deserve. Yeah. But yet, uh, yeah. But yet, if your brother, if your brother owes you five dollars and don't give it to you in a timely fashion you be ready to shoot yeah. this mother 